crea en el poder del amor. Hi! Believe in the power of love. This is what my hoodie says. Hi! How's your day going? Good, 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 good. Let's get into this sunset. If you're new here on my channel, you don't know that I'm always going through phases. Sometimes like, oh, nudes, oh, neutrals, oh, brown is the most beautiful eyeshadow of all times. And sometimes I'm like, color, I want color. <laughs> but this is completely normal for a makeup artist because you have to somehow mix your love for the beauty looks and your love for editorial looks or just colorful looks that look good on Instagram. And here I am always mixing these two passions and creating a mess, most definitely. Need I say more about today's tutorial? You've got your preview and now let's get back to business. Enjoy. I was in such a big mood to film a deep black dark smoky eye. I got ready for it and then I realized that my purple background is still on and I was definitely not in the mood to change it so I thought okay I will change the makeup tutorial for today and we're not getting a black deep dark smoky look but we're getting a smoky a colorful smoky purple maybe with a little bit of orange hues in it because there's a lot to learn about colorful smoky eyes let's get into it and i will be applying a light layer of foundation oh my god i mess up everything oh wow it doesn't look light on the camera but it is a very light foundation it's the hd mup foundation and we are going to blend this into our skin as I told you before, we are doing things differently in every tutorial. I like to change everything up every now and then. And now that we have this light coat of foundation on our faces, let's prep our eyes. As I said before, not a big fan of prepping my eyes with concealer, but this, this one really does the job and i really need a base for my eyes a pretty a pretty elastic base because we will need the best help in blending those purples and everything as always i like to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner because i want those areas to remain clean throughout my makeup just a tiny bit of highlighter, not too much this time. Now what I have here is this beautiful palette from Boys and Berries, Vivid Dreams that I don't get to use too often because it's so colorful, but there are some colors in here that will really, really help our makeup today. And the eyeshadows are really, really pigmented and they work pretty well going in directly into this dark purple intuition and then we will blend also some of this bright purple so i'm going to add this dark intuition eyeshadow only into the outer corner i always feel like there's something so raw yet so beautiful in the first color you add to your makeup i'm not sure you will agree on this with me but i like every step of the makeup i'm doing and boom and when i said colorful i really meant it <laughs> okay so after adding that deep deep purple i'm going into this almost neon yellow and of course i'm positioning the brightest color into the inner corner but i will blend it out and i will connect it to the purple oh 
we'll try and blend everything together and create this sunset-like smoky eye. Taking this purple eyeshadow. What did I say? This orange eyeshadow, I hope I said it right. And this orange will be our transition color basically. Blend it here into the purple and blend it into the yellow. With a cleaner brush, of course, we have to blend the edges. And we will now go back into the purple, but we are going to add the, the brighter purple, not the deepest one. And we will add the brighter purple right down into our crease. Don't go too high, keep it low. Keep it deep into your socket. And what we have to do next is to double between these two colors and add just a tiny bit of pigment just to lose the pigment, the purple pigment, into the orange one. Now I have to confess, I have a problem with over blending colors. I do not like to see unblended eyeshadows but with certain styles of makeup you clearly want to avoid over blending because the colors tend to lose intensity and then you only get a muddy makeup let's clean our lid and then we will be ready to apply this beautiful gorgeous grape purple such a vibrant color, beautiful color. Let's add back some concealer, blend the edges, and let's go in with this electric purple. This definitely completes the look. Like, now everything starts to make sense. Now let's descend to our lower lash line. I'm cleaning it up with a bit of concealer. And I'm going back to the same electric purple we have on our upper lid. And I'm pressing it into my lower lid. And to blend the edges by adding some of the orange hue underneath too. And I'm cleaning the inner corner also because I will be adding some yellow, bright, bright yellow in there. And when I say bright yellow, I mean, <laughs> look at this. This is a bright yellow. And let's clean all this mess up because I can't stand looking at a messy makeup. Blending the foundation underneath, because remember, we got some foundation here. Here we go, we're going in for the brows and I'm using, I've said it so many times, I don't know, maybe some of you are already bored, but I keep getting this question. This is the same marker I've been using for the past seven months. It's, it's the collection 24 hour felt tip liner extreme. It is extreme. It's very waterproof. I'm using the brown one for the brows. Too bad they only have two or three shades. Like they have the black one that I use for my eyeliner for the eyes. They have the brown one. And I think I, oh, I also saw a blue one.
I cannot talk while I do eyebrows, but I'll try and explain. There's not too much to explain. I'm just drawing some some hairs here and there. As you can see today, I am in the mood for a little bit of fluff, not too much, not too much. I feel like they are too dark. And so I am going in with the L'Oreal Plump Set Brow Artist. Lashes. We are going to add some false lashes as camera loves false lashes. I hate doing this part on camera, but we're not calling it a makeup tutorial for nothing. We're not calling it a makeup tutorial and then do stuff off camera. Although sometimes I do it. I'm adding a soft black line at the base of my eyelashes. I'm going in with some glue on my lash and I will leave that aside. First, we need one coat of mascara. I just have to let it dry. Why? Why? Why me, God? It happens to the best of us. <laughs> and many years ago, I would panic and I would try to rub this off before it dries, before it dried. And that's a big no-no. You have to let it dry, completely dry. And then you can remove it without ruining your makeup. I'm sorry to inconvenience you with now that our glue became tacky and when I don't have an eyeliner, when I don't wear an eyeliner, I have to be really careful to put these lashes so close to my natural lashes because otherwise they will look awful in pictures. In real life it doesn't bother me but in pictures when I see that it really bothers me. It basically ruins my pictures. Now that hopefully my mascara dried, let's see how this goes. Just rub it. And you'll see how little by little this dot here disappears. Let's finish up this face using the same concealer I've applied on my lid from MUP. Let's clean this mess up. And with this MUP Beauty Sponge, I'm blending it all in. Being really careful at the shape of my makeup. We don't want to ruin it. Now let's take a clean blending brush and press on to the edges to blend the concealer into the makeup and the makeup into the concealer. Now let's do it this time the traditional way. Let me set up the entire face with powder and then we will do the contouring, the bronzing and the whole stuff. Now let's start bronzing. I haven't worked this way in such a long time. I don't even know if the products match. Like, like if this bronzer would lay normally on top of the powder if, if it blends. Oh yeah, it blends pretty well. Hmm, I like it. Go soft. Hmm. Might go back to this technique. Who knows? 
I like it. Yeah, this bronzer is 100% approved. Look, just look how beautifully it warmed my complexion. Bronzing my nose. You know the drill. I showed you in my last tutorial, which I will link here, up here, up here, up there. I don't know where it will be linked, but I showed you how I contour my nose. I am not going to show you in this tutorial so that you go back and watch my latest tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad like that. Let's go in with some blush. Oh, why isn't it showing up on camera? I know that some of you might be bored to continuously listen to youtubers asking for likes subscribers but for me it's really not that easy because i'm trying to revive my channel i haven't posted in such a long time on my channel so my channel basically died so it's really really important i want to thank you to all of you who subscribe to my channel who are here for me who are listening who are interested who are leaving me comments but I also want you to know that it, right now, social media, not only YouTube, social media works very differently than it did before. So yes, it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how entertaining you are. If you're not asking people to subscribe, to follow you, to engage with you, it's really not working as it used to and basically if you're not doing all this begging for subscribers and likes and comments you're working for nothing because people will not see your content and youtube or, or instagram or facebook will not show your content to your subscribers so with that being said i hope <laughs> you haven't forgot to like this video to subscribe to my channel to follow me on instagram to like my facebook page what else no that's it highlighter baby mary luminizer yeah this is why basically i always go back to this highlighter oh stop stop you already have highlighter on your nose anna <laughs> i have this scar right here so i'm trying to avoid it i don't want to apply highlighter over it because because it will show up texture of it even more let's blend everything in just a lip pencil and some lip gloss will be more than enough for this look i'm gonna shape my lips a little bit i cannot talk while i am doing this Yet I talk while I'm doing this. Oh, I'm gonna shut up now. The concealer and the foundation covered up my lip contour a little bit. I have to go back to it. I don't want too much color on my lips, so I'm gonna fluff them up a little bit by erasing part of this lip contour. I might even add a little bit of eyeshadow just to fluff everything up. And then I will add this Me Luscious Lip Sheen. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I mean, how else would you pronounce this? M I I. I think it's me. <laughs> and the shade's name is. Oh, I don't see it. Sorry. No, it's not here. Maybe they only have one shade. Of course it had to be pink. It had to match my eyes. And after all that mess, look at this beauty. I 
I hope you will enjoy this tutorial, even though maybe you're not used to wearing these crazy colors. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing them either, but for a festival look, or just for fun, maybe for some Instagram pictures. I think this look is pretty impactful. I must say I might go back to this old technique because I really like how my skin turned up. It's very soft. The bronzer blended very softly into my skin. The blushes also, the highlighter. To be honest, I had to change some steps in my makeup routine because some products after certain types of powders do not stick to your face and i was like well maybe i should stick them directly to my foundation and so i did and i liked it but right now i like this effect better or maybe my skin is just better at this moment i don't know we'll see we'll see I'm just looking at my monitor and I, I can't take my eyes off of my eyes <laughs> and I can't wait to take some pictures of this look. Let's see how everything turns up on my Instagram page. Okay, Anna, stop rambling. Just say bye-bye to your subscribers. Bye-bye, my subscribers. Kisses.